What's up, Cleftones? This is Darren from cleftonegrooves.com, and I am here in a whole other scene today. We're going to be talking about sound on location. So yes, guys, a little bit of a different background for you today. I am out of the studio. I am out in public here. I am at the Minneapolis airport, and it's easy to get good sound in the studio, but how do you do it when you're on location? So right now I'm using my portable digital recorder. I've done a video on that. I'll drop a link so you guys can check that out. And on top of that, uh, I have what is called a dead cat in the industry speak. This is a professional wind canceller, so it helps for when you're doing shoots outside. I'm not outside, but however, since I'm away from home, this is all I have. So this is what I'm making work today. So I'll drop a link to the dead cat that I'm using here. I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of simulate some of the background noises and uh, people walking by and voices that you might pick up when you public speakers are at your conferences and you're trying to interview people and get good content for your listeners. And so how to get good audio on location. First of all, I want to talk about is proper microphone usage. So a lot of people have the habit of taking a microphone, maybe holding it kind of straight up and down, but I wanna encourage you to point the microphone more directly towards your mouth. Speak into the microphone, not across the top of it, right? There's a difference in how that sounds. And then two, uh, the other thing that you want to do is don't eat the microphone. Don't don't talk really close like this. You know, this looks probably kind of funny right now. You want to keep the microphone at a comfortable distance from your mouth while it is pointed at your mouth. Um, now, if you've seen newscasters or other people who are on location, they have those little black fuzzy things on their microphones. Um, you can use that, but I just happen to be using my dead cat at this point in time because that's all I have. So just a really quick hitting video today talking about uh, how you can get that good audio uh, and kind of drown out the background noise. Notice how close I have the microphone to me. Not too far, not too close. And again, speaking directly into the microphone. So until next week, guys, here's a getting better audio at home or on location. And I will see you next time.